So when is the best time of the year for grapes? We're talking grapes here on Produce Geek. Hi, it's John with ProduceGeek.com, and today we want to talk about grapes and the best time of the year to enjoy them. So, at the end of summer and through fall, that is when grapes from the San Joaquin Valley of California are at their best. And from August through November, you can get great, delicious, snackable grapes, fresh grapes for eating, and be supporting American farmers. And I really love the different varieties you can enjoy at different parts of the season. You know, well over 60% of the grapes that America eats are consumed in those months from the California growing region. A lot of vineyards right around the Delano, California area. So we're at the beginning of August when we're filming this video, and I'm going to highlight some of the ones that you can find in August and into the early parts of September, and we'll probably be back this fall with more updates on where the varieties are at. So at the beginning of the season, the red grape that you'll find everywhere is the red flame, and that's what I've got right here. And right off the bat, here's a tip, particularly with red flames, and this is kind of a rule of thumb. I look for green stems when I'm looking at a package. So here's a pack of red flame grapes. I can see that those have nice sturdy stems with a lot of green color still left in them. In my mind, that's an indication that they're still fresh. And so I have a good likelihood of a crisp berry. And uh, I, I'm, I did not see any wetness or leaking in the bottom of the package. I'm not seeing split berries. And so that is probably a, a nice pack of grapes to buy. I'm gonna put that in my fridge and try to use it quickly. Before I eat the grapes, I rinse them and you're good to go. Uh, so that that's one of my tips is, particularly in August, you know, you're looking September, look for a, a nice thick green stem. Later in the season, some of those varieties don't necessarily always have green stem. That's just how they naturally grow. But at the beginning, red flame. It's a round berry. They don't get real big. This is about as big as they get. Uh, most of them are much smaller, kind of something like that. But they're a round berry. Have a nice little pop um, of, and not hard or crunchy, but they have a nice little pop of crispness. And that nice balance of sweetness. You definitely get the sweetness, but you get a little tanginess that keeps it interesting. A very snackable grape, a classic, one of my favorites. Mmm, a little burst of juice, love it. The, on the green grape side, in August, you know, you're going to find the most common variety is the Sugar Own or Sugar One. Um, I don't have those here. I have some other uh, varieties that have kind of taken the taking the texture and the flavor forward. So this one is an ivory. So these ivory grapes, a little bit more round than you'd see a, a sugar own, which are oblong. And uh, let's give this one a taste. Really great crispness, great texture, very fresh, I love it. Not super tangy. And also not super sweet, but a very pleasant snacking grape. Not sour like some of the early season grapes we used to get. Uh, this is another variety, uh, Sugar Drop. I'm going to try this one. These are a little more elongated. Mm. Again, nice crispness and juiciness. Good sweetness, not super tangy. These are both pretty pleasant uh, green seedless grape varieties. Now, if you want to get into some cool stuff, here are some things that are available in August. The first is this, um, uh, what's called a champagne grape, and it has nothing to do with the wine uh, grapes that are grown in the Champagne region of France that create the bubbly. But I think because they got, they kind of got this nickname because of the tiny bubbles, right? And so this is a baby red seedless with just tiny little berries on there. And kind of the way you would uh, eat these is, um, well, you can pull them apart one by one, but oftentimes you'd take a little cluster from the stem and kind of pull those stems between your teeth. Mmm. Now you can enjoy these 
tangy, sweet, juicy little baby grapes. Kind of a cool thing. Champagne grapes. Very um, tender product that, you know, as soon as you buy it, you want to go home, wash it, eat it. Uh, they, they don't last forever because they're sweet and they're small and tender. And here's another one that people love because it combines two flavors that we, or two kind of components that we enjoy as grape snackers. It's called a Tom Cord grape. It's a cross between a seedless green Thompson and the purple thick skin seeded Concord, which we all know from grape juice and jelly, that purple classic grape taste of a Concord. Well, the Tom Cord, that cross um, delivers a purple grape that is round, but the skins are not as thick as a Concord and they're not seedless. So that's what you get out of this variety. Mmm, that classic grape juice taste, but no seeds. You can eat the whole thing. They're not thick skin. So those are really fun. Hey, I hope you get to enjoy some grapes this summer and into the fall, and we'll be back with more uh, coming soon. And if you find some grapes you love, and any fruit or vegetable. Share it with a friend, everybody.